Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we will see how to pass Riverpod widget ref object to another page or another controller and how to do that. I have an example for this. So as you can see, there is an elevated button over here. As I click on this button over here, what I want, it should show me a show dialog widget, which is this one actually. So I want it this function to get triggered show dialog and inside this actually we are using show dialog this one which is coming from material dialog class and we all familiar with this we know that it is a pop-up dialog box so what i want so if i tap on this i would be able to call this method now this method well needs a context now I'm going to use Riverpod to pass the context and how to do that. Well, currently there is an error as you can see. So one of the things I could do about this class, I can call it from somewhere where things get initialized. Like one of the place should be from init state method. Now init state method will have access to the Riverpod context. Why? As you can see over here, definitely I'm using Riverpod to do that. Over here I have this uh, provider scope widget, which has to do with Flutter Riverpod. And inside this, I have this homepage class. Homepage class was originally a stateful class. Now I made it consumer stateful class because instead of working with the context directly, I wanna work with Riverpod widget ref object, which is also a context. So that's why instead of using stateful class, I'm using consumer stateful class. And over here, we are extending consumer state class. So because of this one over here, inside this class, inside the init method, our riverpod ref object would be available. And we know that that ref object works same as context. So over here, I want to initialize this class. And then as we initialize this class, I want to have a constructor and pass the context, Riverpod context to it. And then I would be able to access it here. And how to do that? First over here, I have this controller instance, logic controller, which is this one. I made an instance. And after that, inside this any state method, actually, I'm going to grab this. And how we do that? So I have this future delayed method, which would make sure that when my context is ready, then I'm going to call this one. And this way, I'll make sure that I'm not passing any null context. But of course, I need to go ahead and uh, define a constructor over here. And how can I do that? So here, this is my constructor. And I have a variable, widget ref, ref object. And then now when I call this controller, logic controller, I can grab the ref object. This is available because I'm inside this consumer stateful widget. Since this is available, I can pass it to logic controller. Now as I can pass it to logic controller constructor, I can initialize this. And if this is initialized actually inside this show dialog, I can simply access the context ref.context so with this our show dialog would have context and that also means that would be able to see our pop-up message and at the same time we create an instance of this controller logic controller which is this one and it gets initialized now since this gets initialized over here I can call controller dot show dialog now i'm going to pass a random id it doesn't really matter okay river pod now here body is pass context just like this now i'm going to restore everything so i'm going to tap on this and we see that river pod pass context Yes, so that's how you go ahead and pass your Riverpod context to other classes where your class doesn't extend any 
stateful widgets or stateful classes uh, just a purely dart class so this way you'd be able to access your RiverPod context anywhere in your app and you could do it globally